I don't think he was thinking he was that close to death by any stretch of the man. You mentioned that we, we would lose John uh, several months ago. Yeah. Uh, was it really, un was it unexpected? You said you were talking to him like every week. He left me a message that I got after the funeral. He had been to Atlanta and I had happened to be home uh, and I picked him up. He liked to come out to my farm. We went out to my farm, rode around, got pictures and so forth. And I had bought a new car. We had bought two or three cars, mm. not together, but a lot. He got one. I'm going to get me one down here. Mm. And uh, I, I bought a car that he hadn't seen, and that's what his message was about. He said, I'm going to get that car and I'm going to trade in something else I got. So mm. well, I was totally shocked. Yeah, that's where I was going. Not only was I shocked, I think he was. I, 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 I don't think, he, I don't think he expected that. I don't think he was thinking he was that close to death by any stretch of the man. Yeah, I did notice him seeming to be a little tired in some cases, and then a year or two ago, he had fainted on stage mm -hmm. in St. Louis. Mm -hmm. And when I heard about it, I called him checking on him. And he said, oh, these, he said, I'm all right. He said, I, I took some medication. He had high blood pressure. Took some medication and I drank some wine. I said, man, you can't be doing that. And he said, you're right. I got to cut out that medication. Yeah. <laughs> he was go cut out the wine. He said, you're right. I got to cut out that medication. Because <laughs> um, there was an interview that dropped. Uh, he was on DL show. And he was talking about how he was feeling a little bit overworked. He looked a little tired on that show. Yeah. He looked a little tired in that interview. Being yeah. someone that's, um, you know, a veteran as well, how are you managing your own health in this Well, I pace myself. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, and uh, I pace myself and not to offend anybody. I try to try to maintain uh, decent. Now, I'm no, I'm no workout guru or nothing, but I try to maintain decent. Decent weight, man. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of it's keeping that weight off. As much as I love Lizzo, I think Jillian Michael is right. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. But even be, to be beautiful at the expense, if that's what you deem to be, at the expense of your health, yeah, is not good. Yeah. So you know. As far as um the Friday conversation, you know, everyone keeps talking about the last one. With John passing, do we need to make that happen, or you just we just leave it alone at this point? Well, we can make it happen if the show and the show was somewhat real. Of course, we exaggerated some neighborhood truths to make it funny. Mm -hmm. But if the show is reality based, and I'm saying that, and it wasn't no cartoon, it was just some humor, black humor, if you will that other people can appreciate even if they're not black. But if that's the case, then in reality, people die. So you couldn't, you couldn't do it, in my opinion, act like it never happened. Mm -hmm. But uh, in other words, to replace John with another character talking about he was Willie would be asinine. 